Outside of the winds that rushed through the nearly erased arena, it was quiet. The echoes of thunder and resounding thuds of combat finally stalling in their tracks. As the mighty Heracles looked over the ring, his breathing labored. He saw the first of the next combatants to emerge on the weathered battlefield. A towering man with a barrel chest, deep reddish-brown hair hung from his chin in a thick beard, and the hair atop his head was long and braided. He wore bracers along either of his wrists, and a belt wreathed around his core. Lightning rolled about him as he reached the center of the ring. Son of Zeus, I await our clash in the next round. The bearded man spoke, his arm raising, calling something from his terrace with the gesture. Then a hammer came soaring to his open right hand. It slammed into his palm and echoed with a thunderous boom. Koo, you better not lose. You have a better chance of winning than I do. The woman with deep red hair spoke, shedding her furred jacket and preparing to enter the ring. I'm not used to you not being confident, Skaha. That last match would strike fear into anyone's heart. But I know you and I differ on that. Look, just give him everything you can. Well, that is the goal. And with that, she sprang into the ring. Her body was honed from tireless training and countless battles. A spear was readied in her hand, and a quiver of them seemed to be strapped over her back. Her eyes looked between bangs at the imposing figure before her, and she nodded, assuring herself in silence. There was not a hint of doubt in your voice. You know you're going to win this fight. Well noticed. You have a good ear for such things. I probably won't be able to beat you. Do your worst. This is a tournament of power and glory, but I'll be so kind as to allow you the first move. Let's see if that's a mistake or not! Ah! Her right hand immediately threw her first spear forward. It tore like a bolt of lightning toward her foe. Yet, the Izier stood watching it as it approached, unflinching. Then more came aiming for the God of Thunder, the entire quiver being emptied in a mere second, cutting through the air like missiles. They tore about in a series that whipped the winds into a frenzy and caused a reflection of blue light upon the darkened sky. One after another, they piled upon Thor, causing a great dust cloud to rise high into the air above the arena. From the smoke came the counterattack, the head of the mighty hammer Mjolnir shredding into Skaha's core, thrusting her across the arena and through the wall, leaving debris and other things to scatter about. It was a single blow, but she was defeated. You bearded bastard! From their terrace, Ku Cullen shouted, his hand crushing the railing at the end of their terrace. Behind him, a hand found his shoulder, the calmer Finn McCool trying to rest his ally. Oh there, Sedanta, calm down. She knows this fight wasn't hers to win. Mjolnir found itself raising and shooting back into the disappearing smoke cloud where Thor's hand wrapped around its handle once again. You were definitely powerful, but our levels were not the same. After all, I am the God of Thunder! Seeing the assured victor, Heracles looked over at the God of Thunder and smiled. Do not think our match will go the same. I like that reply. I would be disappointed if you went down this easy. Thor spoke back turning to his terrace. And it was there, as the Irish contingent tended to their fallen, that the next combatants readied themselves. 